Hi, this is Marty from Winter Equipment and today we're here to talk about uh, snow plow blades, wear parts, and the wear factor. Uh, just a little information on the company. Winter Equipment has been around for about 26 years. We're welders and hard surfacers that are primarily producing products in the snow plow uh, wear parts area. Um, we're here today really to talk about why low bid or cheaper initial cost snow plow blades and wear parts are not your best way to go. Uh, when you look at some of the other examples that are out there, let's ask uh, ourselves a question here. What wouldn't you buy cheap or low bid? Um, how about eye surgery? How about a bulletproof vest? Um, would you consider toilet paper? Uh, one of the uh, slide pictures we're showing here is a redneck smoke detector, which is actually uh, Jiffy Pop popcorn mounted on the wall. Um, and then certainly, you know, something like a tattoo that would be very near and dear to your heart uh, that you would have out there uh, not done correctly. Uh, what I'm here today to, to tell you is that uh, low bid blades are normally your most expensive option. And of course, we're talking about life cycle cost with that. Uh, what is wear factor? The way we look at blades is uh, basically uh, with a wear factor. Uh, when you look at snow plow blades, we started off with wood years and years ago as a blade. Then we went to products like steel, which ran for years and years and years, and then tungsten carbide insert blades. And a lot of people think they're new, but actually the tungsten carbide insert blades been out there in service for about 50 years. The actual first patent was awarded in September of 1970. So tungsten carbide insert blades are not new. Uh, they're not innovative today. If you're still buying standard snow plow blades that are tungsten carbide insert or steel, you really have to ask yourself why because there's a lot better options out in the field. Uh, some of the things we'll talk about are premium snow plow blades and here are a few pictures of what's available on the market. As you can see, this is not your grandfather's blade selection here. Uh, a lot of these incorporate uh, different materials. High quality tungsten carbide is one. Uh, there's some uh, chromium carbide hard surfacing out there. Rubber, poly, ceramic. Uh, there's high performance steel castings that are available. And all these are used either independently or in combinations and a little bit on what the industry says about the uh, premium snow plow blades or the better blades. There's been a lot of industry studies done. Uh, this slide just reflects a few that I found uh, searching the internet. Uh, Clear Roads Pooled Fund has one out there. Uh, a lot of the state DOTs have them out there too. There's Ohio, Iowa, Wisconsin, Missouri, Maine, uh, North Dakota, Michigan, Vermont, Utah, uh, are just a few. There are several more out there where they've done very extensive studies on snow plow blades and looking at what your best value is for that. There's a strategic highway research program that goes back as far as 1993 that's also done these. Um, most states that uh, we have looked at uh, are, are adopting what they call a best value procurement philosophy which means don't buy the cheapest low bid, look at the life cycle cost of a product itself. And then you look away from some of the studies there, just some of the really current industry support are out there by people like Wolford Nixon uh, of the Salt Institute. Wolford is well documented in the industry and uh, basically he's saying that if you have not looked at snow plow blades in the last 10 or 20 years, you really need to take a look at the technology that's out there. And this slide just represents his article that's in the APWA Reporter magazine in March of 2017. And there are several more out there uh, as you look at them that way. Okay, so how do you know that you're buying a better snow plow blade and it's gonna be worth it? What we looked at is uh, at Winter Equipment is creating something we call a wear factor. And it's much like what's in the tire industry when you look at tire mileage ratings. Uh, a 40,000 mile tire may be $100. If you're buying an 80,000 mile tire and it's less than $200, then, and you get your life out of it, it's a really good value, a life cycle cost. So that's really what we're looking at with wear factor. How do you measure snow plow blades about the same way? Um, this slide here that's uh, called by the numbers really shows four examples of 
a wear factor number one, which would be your baseline. And what that shows in this case is a tungsten carbide insert blade with a regular steel blade in front of that as a cover to protect the tungsten carbide from fracture. Um, average cost out there is about $815 or so. As you go up toward twice the life or three times the life or four times the life, as the other uh, pictures represent, uh, your initial cost does go up, but your total uh, lifetime cost does go down. So if you look at a wear factor of number one there, you're paying about $74.15 per foot over the life of the blade. Uh, as your wear factor increases to two, three, and four, uh, your price lower to uh, 58.60, 55.15, and then 56.36 uh, as you get four times the life. So really the concept is very simple as you start adding more uh, uh, technologically better wear resistant parts. Uh, also too, when you look at snowplow blades and selecting a manufacturer, you really have to ask yourself, are your blades backed by a guarantee? How do you know that when you're specking something or when you're ordering something that you're actually getting that material quality, that product that you think you're getting? Um, if it's not backed by a guarantee, you may want to uh, take a look at it. If the company has customer testimonials and reviews out there, certainly your peers are a great indicator of what is actually going on with the blade, the performance, and then the vendor uh, as much as anything else. Um, we at Winter Equipment sell ours as a complete engineered system. So you can order one part number, you'll get it in a crate uh, that includes everything, all of your snowplow blades, uh, any type of wear components that go with that, and all of your hardware for it is also included in the price that, uh, that we quote. Uh, and then is the uh, manufacturer uh, in the United States? Are you looking at something that's, uh, that's from some place where maybe the product quality is not consistent or the delivery time won't be uh, as you need? Uh, and then the sign here in this slide basically shows, you know, the bitterness of poor quality remains long after the sweetness of low prices is gone. Haven't we all bought cheap products that have underperformed and we've really been disappointed in? Uh, that's really why there's a, a better blade out there and a better solution for what you're uh, looking at with snowplow blades. Um, thank you very much. Uh, we'll have more segments after this to follow and uh, have a great day.